Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Sina. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video is going to be all about newborn skincare. My baby is two months old and I made so many mistakes when it came to her skincare and I definitely want to prevent another mother from making these same mistakes. Let's jump right into it, but wait, before we do that, please subscribe to this channel. At the end of this video, like this video only if you really like it and hit that bell notification. Tip number one is fragrance-free products fragrance free everything it is so important to make sure that at least for the first one to two months of life that you use fragrance free products your baby's skin is extremely extremely sensitive and products with fragrance can damage your baby's skin so it's important to use fragrance-free lotions, fragrance-free body wash. Once you decide to introduce fragrance products to them, do a patch test. If you feel like you really, really, really want to use something, try Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson is an OG. It is pretty mild. Most of the hospitals use Johnson & Johnson. Definitely no lavender. Lavender is what tears your baby's skin up. Keep in mind guys that these tips are for zero to three months. So after three months, things do change. Baby immune system gets stronger. Baby skin is a little bit more tolerant. Tip number two, all free and clear laundry detergent. I did mention this in my baby essentials video. If you haven't caught that video, I will link it down in the description below. I would not advise you to use DREF for the first one month to two months. If you can wash your clothes, everyone's clothes, the baby's clothes, blankets, towels, your sheets, anything that will come into contact with your baby's skin should be washed with the all free and clear. One thing I do like about this detergent, it is extremely inexpensive. I think this thing is like five or six dollars in Publix at least once or twice a month, do BOGO, buy one, get one free. Tip number three is bath time. Now, I know some of y'all are gonna be a little shook when I say this, but you should not bathe your newborn baby every single night. You should only be bathing your newborn two to three times a week. I would say two times for the first month just to be safe. Bathing your newborn every single night will dry their skin out. Not only that, your newborn isn't dirty. If anything, you know, they might smell a little sour here and there because the milk gets trapped under their neck and that's an easy fix. In the hospital, y'all gonna get this bucket. Most hospitals provide this bucket and that's what they give the baby their first bath. Moms, please keep this bucket. For all of my kids, all three of them, I kept the bucket for at least like a year because these buckets, they so clutch, they come in handy. I will fill this up with water and get her little washcloth and I will wipe her neck, wipe her face, wipe her whole body down. When you're doing the bath times, make sure you have lukewarm water. Not only is it safe, but it's best for your baby's skin. You don't want the water on the hot side because hot water does dry your baby's skin out. Limit the bath time to about five to 10 minutes. One quick tip that I almost forgot to mention is that I do add extra virgin coconut oil to her bath water and this one is organic. And what the coconut oil does is it adds extra moisture and it also prevents the soap from completely stripping her skin of its moisture. So moisture is key guys. Whatever you can do to maximize the moisture on your baby's skin you have to do it. And I only do this maybe once a week. 
Tip number four would be invest in a humidifier. Not only is it good for like if ever your baby is, you know, congested or if you're congested, anybody in your house is congested, it puts moisture into the air and it's good for your baby's skin. So if you have your baby and your baby is suffering from dry skin, I would definitely recommend getting a humidifier. This humidifier, I got as a gift from my registry. It was purchased on Amazon. I love this humidifier because it also have a nightlight. Anything with a nightlight, I'm sold. And it also has two different settings. So you can have it expel a little bit of moisture or a lot of moisture. I love this thing because whenever I turn it on in my room at night, the air is just so cool. It's not cold but just cool. Tip number five is moisturize, 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 moisturize. Moisture is key. You definitely want to keep your baby's skin moisturized. Now for the babies that don't have any issues, you're not suffering from dry skin or anything like that, moisturizing your baby's skin one to two times a day is enough. But for my moms out there that made mistakes and you're trying to get your baby's skin back in line, like me, moisturize your baby's skin minimum three times a day. But I probably moisturize my baby's skin at least three to five times a day. And these are the products that I use on her skin. For bath time, I use Eucerin Baby. I love this because it is fragrance free. But it do smell like a little something something. Like, you know, I smell a little something something. It don't smell like just air. I, I just can't stand using products that just smell like just, just air. It is also hyperallergenic. This brand was recommended to me by her pediatrician. So I use the whole line. And I find that this brand is what works for her. Now granted, I want you guys to keep in mind that every baby's skin is different. Just like every human, everybody is different. And just because Eucerin works for my baby, it may not work for your baby. But one thing that is universal is fragrance free. Whatever you use, you decide to use on your baby, just try to make sure it's fragrance fragrance free if you are having skin issues like dryness or eczema or sensitivity. Next two products are my holy grails. I use Eucerin Original Healing Cream and then I use the Eczema Relief Body Cream. This and this. My baby, she doesn't have eczema per se but she just have really, really dry skin. And I think that the reason her skin is dry is because of all of the mistakes that I made. I did use the Eucerin Baby. There's a Eucerin Baby Eczema Relief. I'll insert a picture of it right here. My pediatrician did tell me that you can use adult lotions on babies. When I bought this, I did have the Eucerin Baby. And no lie, y'all, I sat and I read the ingredients on both products. I literally compared the ingredients. Do y'all know that every single ingredient was the exact same? Literally, except one ingredient was different in the baby. And the ingredient was like maybe like the, the 14th ingredients. In products or foods, whatever, ingredients, Whatever is listed first and on down, that's the most, it has the most of that ingredient and then it goes all the way, you know, and then it goes down. So whatever is the last ingredient that has the least, that is the least amount in that product. I hope that just made sense. But anyways, it was like the 14th ingredient that was the difference. So I was like, hmm. So I guess it is, it's all the same. And what I realized, the eczema relief, the adult one, was just a tad bit more moisturizing than the eczema relief baby the way i do it is i put this one on first this is extremely 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 thick this to me by itself is not moisturizing 
I know they do recommend like aquifer. I don't like, like aquifer to me is more like of a petroleum base, like petroleum or pe petrolatum base. And things like that to me aren't moisturizing. It just coats the skin and it sits on top of the skin, but it doesn't moisturize the skin. So same thing with this. This does have petroleum in it. And petroleum is actually, I think like the second, yeah, it's the second ingredient. So it has a lot of petroleum in it and petroleum is not moisturizing. It just coats the skin. So what I do is I use this one first. Very important. If you're going to try this, use this one first because it's a cream. And then I follow it with this. I use this one second on top of the cream. So I use this one as a sealant to like kind of seal the moisture into her skin. And that's what's been working for me. I've been doing this for about a month now, I would say. And that's what got her skin on the road to recovery, on the road to heaven. And it's just been working so good. So that's all for the newborn skin essentials and the newborn skin tips. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you guys later. Mwah.